Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. This is project three of our Python for Data Science course. This is the final project of the fundamental section of the course. Uh, if you're just coming from YouTube, you don't know what's going on here, I'll put a link to the website down in the description. What we're working on is up here, you'll notice I have something called free courses. If I zoom in a little, I can show you. Hit the free courses button. And Come on down to the Python for Data Science Fundamentals. And as you can see, I've got 19 course classes here. Each one has videos, and we have three projects to go with it. A little bit farther down, you're going to see right here, we've got downloads. This is all the notebooks from all the lessons you can download, and this is the fundamentals. This is the project solutions. But since you're already here watching with me, we can go ahead and solve this together. Let's go back up to the cash register project and see what we're supposed to do. Okay, so starting here, what I'm going to be doing is giving you three different lists called Bill, Bill 2, and Bill 3. They're different sizes. They've got integers and floats in there. And what I want you to do is create a cash register that will add up these. I want you to look at each one of these numbers. Think of this as a line item in a bill. So if pe three people are bringing up bills for the cash register, you're going to count them up and spit them out to me. Uh, if you've downloaded Anaconda, which we're using, that's great. You'll be able to do it work with me that way. You can even use the note, download the notepad books. If not, uh, follow the blue arrow. It'll take you to a Python shell I put in my website that you can use. You can use this through uh, your phone. You can use this on a tablet, Chromebook, a work computer. You can't download. But if you're luck able to have Anaconda download on your computer, let's just work from there. So what do we want to do? Okay, this is what we want to do. We want to Put, put the three lists into one list. That's the first thing I want. Then I want you to create a function that adds up the list, and then I want you to print out the bill total of the three bills. All right, so let's go ahead and hop over to our notebook, and I've already copied this over and run this. So now I want to put step one, let's put these into one list. We'll call this bills with a capital B. Remember, capitalization matters in Python case is sensitive. We instantiate a list by just putting that bracket there. Okay? Now we go ahead and we use the append method to append all the lists here. So bills append bill 2 and bills append bill 3. And we'll print bills. And there you go, it comes out. Now I want you to notice that here. If you're playing around in Notepad like this and you just type bills, it'll give you an answer. That'll work. Uh, you don't need the print, but if you are using any other form of IDE and you don't hit print, you're not going to get nothing. So I, I just keep the habit of writing print around there so you can see. All right. So we got into step one done. That's step one. Good. Now we want to create a function that adds up items in the list. Now, if we remember how to create a function, we go down here. First thing for creating a function is the command for function, which is DEF. And let's give it a name. We'll call it cash reg. And we'll get B for bills. That'll be the vari variable coming in. That's the argument. That's what we're passing to it. Okay. Now, because you can see with the colon, we're indented. We're part of the function. So we want to add something up. So we need something to add into it. So I'm going to instantiate a variable of Y and give it a value of 0. Okay. And what we're going to be passing through is actually, let's just start by looking at this top list here. We're going to, we're going to start by passing through this bill. So there's this first four numbers. So we want to count through those four numbers and add them up. So how do we do that? So simple for loop. We're going to say for x in b, y equals y plus x. So for each step in this bill coming through, we're going to add to, to y, which starts at 0. That's why we start at 0 and runs through. Okay, And then we are going to return y. All right, there we have our function. If we want to test our function, we just say cash reg. And again, let's just try sending it bill first. Okay, so there you go. We're going to send it, and there you go, 40.5. You add these up, that comes to 40.5. So now, but that's, you know, that's okay. But what we learned, you know, we do want to get all of these through. We want to pat send this list of lists through there without being too much confusion. So we've got, what we want to do is we want to imagine calling out each element, 
each list is an element and passing a list at a time from the main list. I know it sounds confusing, but so that's really what we want to do. We want to send list one, list two, because if you look at bills and I say zero, let me put it in another line just so we're not confused here. I'll go down here. See, that's one. That's just like saying bill. Now if we go lit bills, boom, that's two. So we want to send each one of these sets. Each We want to send a list each time through. So we could do another for loop. I mean, that would be easy. It would work. I mean, we'd be okay. But let, let's try something cool. Remember we learned about something called list comprehensions. So in list comprehensions, remember we give it a value because it, it, it comes out as a list. Now notice I'm using X again. I've got X up here. This don't matter because this X does not exist outside of this function. So I can use another X out here because notice these X does not exist outside of this function. So it doesn't matter. It will not affect. Now it's a list comprehension. So we start it with the brackets. So what we're going to do. Now with the list comprehension, you start with the, what it's like a backwards for loop. We start with what we want to have inside here. So what we want to have inside is we want to call this function. And we're going to call it using, just to, to avoid confusion, we're going to call it using, we'll call it B1. Okay. Oops. If I can get it in there. B1. And where does B1 come from? If I can find my mouse, I'll show you. B1 comes from here. For B1 in bills. So we're going to instantiate each one of these bills. There will be a zero. Bit. Push it to B1, and we're going to send that to our function. So that's going to be, and to see the result, we're going to print X. Okay. So go ahead, and there you go. Now you have a list of each bill. And if you wanted to, we could add one more little cool thing here. We could simply call print cash reg x. Because now we're going to, we've done, that's each bill. Let's say we're going to get all the bills together. A little bonus shot. So there we go. And that's the cost of all the bills put together. All right. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to you for the next projects when we start moving into more pandas and numpy and eventually all the way up to building machine learning models. Uh, thanks a lot. This is Ben Larson, Analytics for All. Thank you for joining me.